Hi friends, I'm Amy from Amy's Cooking Channel. It's been a while I uploaded my videos. Let's go with today's video. Samia Payasan. And I also have a special guest, Glory. This is Samia, 180 grams. Sagu, half cup. Vermicelli, 180 grams. Half cup of palm sugar. Yeah, half of palm sugar. Cashew nut as much as you can. You can add in how much you want. You can add in raisins how much as you much as you can. Saffron. Saffron is this for the last season. Cardamom. You can see the cardamom how much. Yeah. This is cardamom. I will powder them. This is dried ginger in Indians we say it as chuku yeah dried ginger these two I blend them together one cup of coconut one not one cup of coconut one coconut sorry one coconut blend take the juice out and in two portions First milk and second milk, yeah. And this is the ghee I'm using. Also, you can use it how much as you can, uh, according to your taste, yeah. All right, this is the Kerala cooking pot. Um, my good friend of mine brought it from Kerala. She presented to me. Kind of fur, right? Okay. This cooking pot known as Urli. In English, I don't know the proper word, but it's made out of copper and bronze. And I always wanted that for past six years. And finally, I got this pot. She personally went to this particular area in Kerala and she grabbed it for me. Big thank you to her too. That goes to my wonderful sister-in-law. Got for me from Australia. Big thank you again. So... I love this kind of cooking pot to prepare dishes, chicken, mutton, fish, anything you can cook in this. But the first dish I'll be cooking is Samia Payasa. Yeah, that's my first dish. And then followed by jackfruit and everything. Anyway, this is very heavy, huh? It's too heavy, you have got to be very strong to carry this pot. Anything in, in this cooking pot. I'm going to pour a little bit of ghee to fry the cashew nut. Cashew nut. Yeah. You can put much as you can. And I didn't break it up into two. I'm going to change myself. Yeah. Just try it. Slow the flame. Yeah, it is too hot for this pot. This is good enough. And uh, this is a bit noisy. So I just removing it and I'm going to add in raisins. Now I'm adding in the raisins. The, the metal spoon is too noisy. Yeah, I remove the metal spoon. Copper bronze. Fry the raisins and separate them into the bowl. It should be this way. All bubbles. You see, it looks nice to see. Very nice. See, this is the way to fry them. They are bubbled up or put in a bowl. Cashew nut see. Silly. That's that's it. One packet. It's about two hundred and fifty grams. I'm not going to remove this from the pot. I'm going to add in the 
second coconut milk so that this will be cooked well and it should be golden brown yeah this is a second coconut milk I'm going to add into the pot yeah I just covered a bit so that the vermicelli will cook well yeah or else it will be very hard to drink like what I say it was half cup sagu but I'm not going to top everything inside because it will be too thick with sagu yeah and mix it well and add in a little bit more water or milk adding in too much of sagu it will become too thick very thick the texture is very nice to see you see that sagu will make it very thick and if you want you can add into your wish to to your taste condensed milk but i'm not adding it in healthy pies am i going to add in palm sugar instead of white sugar and all these sugars. I prefer this particular sugar. I'm going to add in salt. Yeah, a teaspoon salt a bit for the taste. And I'm going to add in the cardamom powder. Cardamom and dried ginger. Yeah, I'm going to drop it in. It's all blend powder, yeah. Add in milk and if the sugar is not enough, you can add in according to your taste. I cut down a lot of sugar. I'm going to add in cashew nut. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah, cashew nut. And also raisins. Huh? I forgot to mention raisins. Yeah, mix them together well. Yeah. I don't want to mix it too deep. And you can put in saffron if you want. If you're interested, you can sprinkle saffron. I love saffron. Call this dish a semi apayasam. Also a dessert. We can have it after dinner or lunch. That's very nice to have it. Yes. I add in cashew nut, raisins, and saffron. I think I showed you just now. Yeah, the saffron, the yellow, yellow strands. Let me trick, taste and see how is the sugar taste. Hmm. You can add in more sugar, but do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour into this bowl. Yeah, that will be better. Let's hold the pot carefully. Whoosh. Yes. The texture the, is liquidized a bit, not very thick. Not very thick. It shouldn't be too thick. A gentle reminder, it's very important not to keep the food or anything cooked in, inside this pot too long. You should transfer immediately into this bowl. Yes.